Thank you for tuning in to another episode of WGC Fits. Today, we are gonna be looking at two really, really, really hyped up players clubs right here. These things are Goliaths. These things are awesome. These uh -huh. are the, the Callaway Apex CB versus the Titleist T100. Now, Titleist T100 has kind of become, from a just from a name perspective, like one of those clubs that you just know a lot of their guys are playing on tour. The thing that's really cool is, the CB, I think, is already, if if not already, going to end up in quite a bit of tour guys' bags as well. Now, you probably know that a little bit more than I do, but I'm pretty sure we're going to see a lot of these on TV. Um, these two clubs are just awesome. I mean, take it away, Trent. Talk to us a little bit about what you're seeing, what you're feeling, and then we'll hit some. We'll talk about some differences, but there's not a whole lot, actually. To be fair, there's not much difference in these clubs, so... Like I said, I, I know a little bit of background, obviously, on both of them. Uh, T100, this is now Generation 3, mm -hmm. um, or Version 3 of it. Uh, keep getting better and better with it. Slightly improved every year, man. That's what uh, they do. CB, Apex CB, if, you know, if it's it's pretty good looking. I mean, it's it's definitely, uh, definitely a good looking golf club. Imitation being the sincerest form of flattery. These two, from a setup perspective, these two look Oh, so good. Very close to each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are slight differences, but I mean, top line perspective, very close. Um, again, just a little bit of shaping differences, but. Now, if, if we talk about differences like on paper with these, mm -hmm. right, it's funny because there's really not much, right? Modern tour shape, both of them, modern tour clubs, right? Mm -hmm. Goliaths on the tour, I would say. Right. Um, pure forging throughout both. We've got 34 degrees aloft for both. We've got the workability, obviously, with both. We've got kind of some sole grinds going on there to kind of maximize things like kind of ground interaction into the turf, out of the turf, that kind of stuff. Just looks and feel kind of placing center of gravity very specifically in both throughout each set. Just designed from the ground up. Just awesome, awesome golf clubs. Well, let's see how they work. Love that sound. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, huh? So good. I certainly don't have any problem hitting this in the air. No. <laughs> so, in the past, both of us have played AP2s. Mm -hmm. Now, compare the T100 to maybe that guy who's had a set of AP2s for, for you know, a decade and he's having a hard time getting rid of them. Um, I would say from previous models, I mean, even in this model, I mean, the biggest difference I would say from T100 to an AP2 golf club is T100 was, or T100 in the long irons is, a, is more AP2-ish. I agree with that. As yeah. you go down into the 789 pitching wedge, it's more CB-ish. It's definitely a smaller golf I club. I actually love how you said that. I couldn't agree more. Both played AP2s, both, I would say, you know, pretty big fans of them in the day. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a trend cut. This is, yeah, that was a cut. Good numbers off it for a cut. A block cut. <laughs> block cut. That one's actually falling right as well. It's a good feeling. I mean, again, just it's... It's, I would say typical Titleist feel. It just yeah. feels solid. Mm -hmm. It's a cloudless day here, AJ, but I'm trying to bring rain. <laughs> <laughs> well, with, with those kind of shots, you just might. Uh, 110 peak height is pretty impressive. That one's up there. That was not trying to hit it high. That's just hitting it kind of normal. Well, weaker lofts, you know, weaker lofts, center gravities, that's kind of really controlling things like spin. What's great is that's got 50 degrees of landing angle on top of 6,500 spin. I mean, you might actually be able to hold a green Oakmont with that. Maybe. Might. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> solid. I mean, just, uh, just, just solid golf club. Really good. Now, we'll compare it to the Apex... CB. So again, shaping wise, maybe just a little bit more modern shape from a standpoint of 
a little bit more rounded. I agree um, with that. Yep. Again, there's there's certainly that's certainly something that's happened. I'll call it kind of domesticated. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The North America version of golf clubs tend to be a little bit more a little rounded bit more rounded versus a Japanese version. Japanese and all that. This is the thing with this club that I can't really get out of my head, right? To me, when I look at this, this is very reminiscent of some old clubs that I am quite a big fan of throughout Callaway's history. Um, I just, I really, really like the way this looks and feels. We're back, baby. I'd say the biggest difference, I would say, is just, again, just more of a thump feel and impact. Mm-hmm. Tyler's maybe just a little, might feel a tiny bit softer. Okay. This is more of a, I hate to use the term thud because it's not, it's not a bad thud. It's just. No, it's a good thud. I mean, I use it all the time. Thuddy. I, I often say that and I don't mean that in a bad way. That was pretty good. It looked the part. What's that? So it looked the part. You can definitely tell the shaft being a little softer. Yeah. You know, I, and, and to be fair, right? I mean, if, if I was fitting you, I'd probably look more towards that AMT than I would the mid. But we wanted to get the, the video out as soon as we could for you guys. So work with what we got. Yeah, we're still kind of got some of the heads we don't have cv quite yet but Mm -hmm. feels good i just love seeing that the soft little draw when you're swinging well i feel like that's your shape and that's that's good for you you know i'm swinging well once or twice a year Captain Center Strike says that everyone just <laughs> keep it now. Fine. Um, awesome club though, man. Like I, again, back here, things that I can observe sound amazing for both, right? Just from a look perspective, I'm not seeing too much difference like we touched on. Um, when you talk about clubs looking the part and kind of talking the talk, if you will, man, these two are mm-hmm. all over it for, for what these clubs are trying to do. I don't think two clubs do it much better. Let's say, right. You know, just very, very good. So, final words, final thoughts? You putting those in the bag? (laughs) We'll see. We'll see. All right. If you guys are interested in either of these, please come see us. We'll get you fit up, set up. Um, Please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching the video. See you guys. Thanks, Thanks, guys.